Once upon a time, a little girl named Ruby with bright red hair lived on the edge of a forest. Her stunning, vibrant hair captivated all, yet her sweet demeanor could be mischievous. Every time she stepped out to play, her mother would have to warn her to behave. Darling, please stay in the backyard and don't go into the woods. But one day, she thought to go out in the forest. Deep in the forest, in a cozy cottage, lived a family of bears, a broad-shouldered papa bear, a medium-sized mama bear, and a small baby bear. Mama bear always woke up early to prepare oatmeal porridge for breakfast. One morning, baby bear woke up earlier than usual and wanted to eat his porridge, but it was too hot. Mama, can we go out for a walk in the woods until our porridge cools down? Mama, Papa, and Baby Bear left their porridge on the table and went out for a walk. That same morning, Ruby was playing in the backyard while waiting for her mom to prepare breakfast. She grew tired of the same yard and yearned to explore the deep forest. She wondered about going for a walk, then ran into the forest when no one was around. What a beautiful forest, flowers, trees, why didn't I come here before? She exclaimed, she began to walk deeper into the forest. Meanwhile, as they were walking around, Baby Bear saw a beehive on the branch of a tree. Such a big beehive, I'm sure it is full of honey. Papa, can we eat some honey? No, my boy, that belongs to the bees, it's their home, we can't go into anybody's home and eat their food, it's not right. Ruby walked, alone for a long time, getting lost and, unable to find her, way back. She reached the, end of the road and, found the bear family's, house among the trees. She quietly, approached the house, walked around it, but found no one, knocked on the door with no answer looked through the window, and saw three hot plates, on the table. She went, back to the door, again, and this time, she knocked hard, the door opened. Ruby was overjoyed, she looked inside and yelled, anybody home? When there was no answer, she entered. She approached, the table, on the table were three, bowls of porridge, one big, one medium, sized, and one small. She wanted to, eat the big one first because she, was hungry, but the porridge, was still too hot, burning, her mouth when she tried. She tried, the medium and, large bowls, finding them, too cold, the smallest bowl had, porridge at the perfect, temperature, satisfying her. So she ate, all the porridge in, the smallest bowl, when she was done, with her breakfast and felt full, she wanted to sit, on one of the three, chairs in front of the, fireplace to rest for a while. Ruby tried three chairs of different sizes, big, medium, and small. The big one was too tall, the medium one was uncomfortable, and the small one was comfortable but broke, leaving Ruby confused. There were three beds, a big one, a medium-sized one, and a small one. First, she tried the big bed. This one was too big for her and also too hard. The second one was a little bigger than her size but also too soft. So she lay down, on the third and, smallest bed, this one was exactly her size, and it was very comfortable, so comfortable that, Ruby fell asleep right away. While Ruby was sleeping, the bear family came back home, Papa Bear had some fruits, with him that he, collected for the dinner. Mama Bear, had fresh berries, and Baby Bear, just could not, wait to have his porridge, when they arrived home. They went straight to the table. Papa Bear had a look at his bowl and was so angry. Somebody tasted my porridge. Mama Bear also looked at her bowl. Somebody also tasted my porridge. And when Baby Bear looked at his bowl, he began to cry. Somebody tasted my oatmeal porridge and not only tasted it but also ate it all. They got up and started to look around. Papa Bear noticed his chair in front of the fireplace. Somebody sat on my chair. Look, it's in a different spot. Then it was Mama Bear's turn to complain. Somebody also sat on my chair. And just like before, Baby Bear began to cry again. Oh, somebody not only sat 
on my chair but also, broke it into pieces. The bear family, curiously went to the bedroom, somebody lay on my bed, look how it's undone, said Papa Bear, somebody lay on mine too, added Mama Bear. Papa Bear walked, next to Baby Bear bed, and saw that someone, really was sleeping in his bed, he slowly lifted up the, blankets, and they were really, surprised to see a little girl sleeping there. Ruby woke to a, baby bear cries, saw three bears, and ran out in fear. She kept running without direction, feeling breathless, and not stopping. At that moment, Ruby's parents, found her in the forest, and she happily, hugged her mother. Ruby's mother, expressed concern and Ruby, promised to always listen and seek permission, as a result, Ruby became a well-behaved and, kind girl who valued her parents' guidance.